Hey guys, uh, another review in 2012. This time it's Star Wars. Um, as you might have noticed, X23 is going to be a guest star in my videos. I don't know if, uh, I hope uh, she can be in all my videos, or maybe most of them. Uh, but she's going to stay with me for the, long, uh, for the duration of this review. Uh, since, uh, well, uh, all of you Star Wars fans know Episode 1 is going to be released in 3D. Uh, so, uh, since it's Episode 1, I'm going to pay tribute to uh, the episode itself and one of my favorite uh, Jedi Masters of all time. This review is going to be about none other than Qui-Gon Jinn's uh, electronic lightsaber. Very nice piece. Uh, I got it for Christmas. Actually, uh, it's very nice. Uh, it's a very nice lightsaber. Uh, thin, uh, which is cool. Uh, I got what I asked for: a uh, green thin lightsaber. Finally, that wasn't uh, Yoda's. And I'll get to the pros and cons of this bad boy soon. So let's start off with this review. Uh, this is uh, a uh, probably could be counted as a replica of Qui-Gon's lightsaber. Uh, very very screen accurate. Uh, the only thing that uh, I'm not too happy about is that you don't have uh, anything to hang it with. I mean to hang from your belt or your Jedi belt or something. You might use the button, but uh, you uh, you might uh, scrub the paint of it, or I don't know. So I'm gonna see what I can do to maybe, maybe I don't know put something in there to to clip it from my belt or something. Uh, I'm gonna switch the light off so you can oh. Before I do that, uh, as always, the, the blade extends up to uh, three feet or something. I don't know. Uh, it's your trademark uh, Hasbro electronic lightsaber. All of them are the same, just different colors and different uh, designs. So I'm going to shut my light off now so that you can see uh, how this thing lights up. And here we have it. The button. Well, uh, it's got a nice green color. The camera doesn't show it to you very well, but it's some, uh, it's some kind of a emerald green color. You have the flashing battle sounds, as always. Uh, I'm not seeing anything than the lights. I'm gonna put you back on. Uh, now this button is really, really sensitive, so you can if you just press it lightly, you can. It, it lights up, like so. Okay. It's very, very sensitive. Uh, like I said, clashing sounds. I said I was going to pay tribute to uh, one of my favorite Jedi, Qui-Gon. This lightsaber, for those of you who don't know, uh, belongs to Master Qui-Gon Jinn, who unfortunately died at the end of Episode 1. Uh, now I've just learned that his lightsaber is kept in a memorial, the Jedi Temple, which is nice. So the the Jedi Knights were kind enough to give it to me <laughs> as a keepsake, since I admire him so much, and I was allowed to keep it on the condition that I don't destroy it or lose it, and or lose it. So very nice deal. Uh, like I said. Very good uh, lightsaber. If you're a fan of these uh, lightsabers, even though you don't play with them, uh, like I do, I don't uh, play with these things, I just collect them and put them in display, maybe hang them for my belt. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, but that's all. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing to it. Uh, it, it. You need uh, three AAA batteries to make this work. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hope you enjoyed uh, this review. Uh, I'm gonna go watch episode one in 3D right now. Uh, enjoy. Uh, have a good. Uh, 
week and subscribe if you like this uh, you can subscribe uh, and uh, hit the like button and I'll, I'll be back with some more soon so next time take care and of course we'll